Hello, Randy from MD Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm going to show you three ways today that you could improve your website and it would actually help you also to beat your competition online. All right. So, Randy, I don't want to waste your time, though. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. But at the end of the video, you want to hear more information. Then let's just set up a uh, time and I can answer any questions for you. If not, no big deal. I'm going to give you some free tips and strategies and you can actually apply them right to your site. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about is content, and then we're going to talk about citations, and then we'll talk about backlinks. So those are the three topics we'll cover today. So starting with content, I'm, um, whoops, I'm on your site right now. I'm just looking to see about how many words of content you have. You can also have content and pictures and buttons as well. Um, but the majority of it probably is going to be uh, your actual words. So just looking through, obviously you don't have the 1,500 to 2,000 that Google kind of recommends. The reason that they want so much content is that the more uh, information you have on your page, they know you're essentially offering a service to people and you're educating them. Education is one of the things they're looking for on sites. If you had a blog, that also accomplishes the same goal and Google ranks those fairly high as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth throughout this video with Monarch Roofing. They're one of the top results in Myrtle Beach. And the, so the reason why I'm showing them is that because they're one of the ones that you'd essentially want to get ahead of because you would take their spot. Um, and they're actually not the top spot. That's going to be a directory, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But if we scroll through their page, they don't have a blog, first of all, and they also do not have the 1,500 to 2,000 words. So the goal would be to get ahead of them in all three topics that we're going to cover today. So just getting even some more content on here would just be one more way to get ahead of them and help you beat them in this in this category. Now, next up, the reason other reason that you do like so much content on your homepage is that you can put more keywords in the content if you have more of it. And so as an example, I've just used Myrtle Beach Roofing as my example uh, for two reasons, really. Number one, it's got 150 people who search this keyword every single month. So it's got really good volume. The second reason is that it's what new customers would search if they're looking for a company. You can tell this does not have a specific company attached to it. You're just looking for a company, right? And you want to capture that new business. So first thing they're going to find are these ads. Second thing they're going to see are going to be this map section, also known as the GMB or Google My Business. And this brings us to our second topic, which is citations. The way the GMB works, these are all ranked based on citations. And that's just when you get your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site. These are sites like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. And they show up to be the top three. You show up in this little preview window. You could view all to see the rest. But this gets you seen by new customers searching just the main page. After that, we're going to find our organic section. You're going to get 10 results that show up on every page for this. And at the very bottom, you'll see a few ads as well. And um, these show up in reference to our keyword, and they're based on Google's kind of algorithm and formula. So we can rank our key phrase or keyword here, Myrtle Beach Roofing. Number one goes to Better Business Bureau. They're a directory, and they're the top result, which is a really good thing for us. Number two, Monarch Roofing, the company we're talking about as our comparison. And three, Myrtle Beach Roofing. So the reason it's good that a directory is the first thing up there, because Directories are actually easier to beat. Some people think they're difficult, but the truth of the matter is that Google prefers local businesses to directories, so they would rather a local business is ranked higher than a directory. So as long as the site is sound and we beef up a few things, they're not that hard to actually get ahead of. All right, so I've just taken your website, mdroofing.us, plugged it into a program I like to use called Aris. just helps me kind of see how your site's performing. First thing I can see is you've got your headers on the top page. Now, you don't necessarily need the home the home word there, but having your business name is huge. You can also put a keyword there as well. It allows you to be found a little bit easier by Google. And then we'll jump into our third topic, which is backlinks. So backlinks and referring domains really go hand in hand here. Referring domains are the websites that you have links on. The backlinks are the actual links. So you have 309 links on the 87 pages. As an example, social media does actually work as a citation as well. So if you had a Facebook business page called MD Roofing, all the uh, Facebook your Facebook business page would be the referring domain, and MD Roofing US would be the website. That would be the actual link that you'd put in the little website category. And when someone clicks that link, it redirects them back to your site. Now backlinks don't have to be a link; they could be a button or a picture as well. 
the more referring domains and websites you have pointing to your site, the stronger your trust comes up, this UR number here, the 21. The higher this is, the more keywords that you can be found for, also as long as they are on your page to begin with. Right now, you're showing up for about 117 keywords. And keywords are what really bring in the visitors to your site. The 117 keywords you do have right now are bringing about 147 visitors to your site per month. So that's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to run over to Monarch, and then we're going to actually look at both of your keywords. We can see Monarch's got some headers up here as well. They got their name as well as a keyword. 367 referring domains sending back over 2,000 links to their site. The more domains they have, you can see their uh, trust number is higher with a 38. That's bringing them more keywords, 396 they can be found for. And that's bringing them about 473 actual visitors to their site. All right, so I'm going to go to your keywords first. So we'll just look at yours. So the first one that pops up, your business name, MD Roofing. 200 people do search you by name. And we can see your ranked. We'll go with the top one here, number one for this one. And if you're number one, so we know there's 10 results per page. So you just want to be in the top 10 to get on the first page. But the higher you're ranked, the better. And the higher percentage you'll get of the volume. So as you can see, number one, it's going to get you typically between 20 and 35% of the total volume. So at the number one spot for MD Roofing, you're getting 67 of the 200 actual visitors coming to your site. And being ranked number two, you can see that number get cut more than in half, but you get 30 of the 200. So you can kind of see the difference there by that. So it does drop down the, um, you know, the higher your position is. So Let's see, let's also look for, people who search you by name also know who you are. There's probably going to be some referrals, people who saw your signs. You also want to bring the new customers, which is what we were using. So roofing company, Myrtle Beach, 70 people search that phrase just like that. For this one, you're number six, so you're a little past the halfway point on page one, but you are on page one. But number six, the percentages are lower, so you can see you're getting about four visitors of the 70 actual coming to your site. Now, next up, Myrtle Beach Roofing, which was our example because it had the better volume attached to it. 150 people searching this exactly like that. You guys are number 10, so you're just on the very bottom of the first page, but you are on the first page. From this one, you're getting three and a half visitors per month of the 150. So obviously, moving up that one would be a really good move for you guys, and it would bring in a lot more visitors. All right, and really just the more of these you start stacking up in the top 10, because um, a lot of these you can see have to do with your name, which just means that people who already know who you are probably want to get maybe a few more of these. And if we scroll down, you definitely might have some. Um, I see some more good ones here. Um, and you are actually on the first page for most of these, at least the ones that we're seeing. It's just you probably want to go up a little higher because you're only getting one or two visitors from each of them. And if you could move up a couple more spots, it would make a huge difference with that as well. All right, let's quickly run over to Monarch. I don't want to take too much time. So Monarch Roofing, we're going to go with this one because this first one's got huge volume because it's more of a national term. You like when it has a specific location attached. 70 people search it. Number one, 22 of the 70. Then they have Roofing Company Myrtle Beach. Of the 70 people, they're number two, so they're getting 10 of the 70. And if we go to Myrtle Beach Roofing here of the 150, they're number six, so they're getting eight of the 150. So there are a couple spots ahead of you there. Um... So as you can see, a lot of their traffic actually is coming from their own name, which I think makes them very beatable for the actual keywords because you can see a lot of them, they're ranked like six or whatnot, which tells us there's five spots available ahead of them, right? All right, so thank you for your time. Hope you hope you learned something. I hope it was educational and, and helpful. You know, now that you have the info, there's three things you can do if you're not interested in, in building your company anymore or adding more visitors. You don't have to do anything with it. If you have someone you already use, you can show it to them. Um, assuming you, want to, you do want to grow the company. If you do want to grow and you don't have anyone you use, you're not happy with them, reach out. I can answer any questions for you. Thank you guys for your time. Have a great day.